Previously on Power Slap Road to the Title. Do something stupid though. Just days after Azael's drunken antics caused problems at the house. I'm pretty sure he pissed the bed. Hey, you too, you too. <laughs> he was at it again, sending the chaos to a whole new level. Russell was gonna kill him. He was about to die. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Hey. Three more strikers took their first steps towards glory by securing crucial victories. Get ready for more pulse-pounding matchups. Yeah! House Public Enemy number one, Aziel El Perro Rodriguez, takes on California knockout specialist Emmanuel Muniz. I'm putting your ass to sleep. I'm gonna knock the out of you, dog. Then, heavy-hitting Romanian Nikolai Solcoach. I got that toughness on me. Faces gritty Michigan native Kari Sarcher. I'm here to be the best, and you're standing in my way. And finally, in a battle of heavyweight titans, Dwayne Crespo and Ryan King of Kings Phillips. It's going down, Dwayne. You're going to feel the pain. Take to the stage. Show up, you get knocked out. On the line, a coveted spot in the Power Slap Live finale, a world ranking, and the first ever title belt. 185 are right here. As we saw in the last fight between AJ and Russell, slapping first in this sport is a big deal and it's a massive advantage. AJ knocked Russell out cold in the first round and he never had to take a shot. So winning the coin toss and power slap gives you an edge right out the gate and it definitely will again in these next three matchups. At middleweight, Azael Rodriguez versus Emmanuel Muniz. Blue corner, red corner. <laughs> red. Let's take that first. Yep. Yeah. He gets first hit, but I'm gonna just take it and slap him back as hard as I can. 179 and a half. Let's go. Ah! One eighty four. Yeah. 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 Hey, I got some diapers for you, big dog. Yeah. Yeah. You better not be out on. Azael has a lot on the line here. He wasn't very impressive in the slap offs in his fight against Jesus Gaspar. So we moved him to an alternate spot, and the guy has been nothing but trouble in the house. So if he wants to have any chance of being part of this sport, he needs to show us something. Emmanuel, on the other hand, oh! he delivered a monstrous knockout in his fight against Mike Webster. What's interesting, though, is that Azeal seems to have the advantage in all the metrics that we measured at our combine. So let's see if that does give him an advantage. Where do you guys get props from? What the <laughs> It was like all you guys in this room. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I saw that he was drinking again. You know, we wasn't real thrilled about that. That's not me, bro. So shut the up. That's not. If he, I'm preparing. I'm preparing. Bro, back up, enough. back up. You spitting on me. Back up, back the up. So back don't the make up. fun of him. Don't, don't make fun of him. Oh, oh, Azael, man, you need to go to AA. You spin on me when I'm you're talking. Back the I'm up. Just... Back the up out of my face, boy. Bro, bro beat your I'm gonna slap the out of you. Do that again. Bro, back the up out of my face. Bro, you face, just did that. Your ass in this bitch, boy. The the you do that. You spin on me. Bitch, yo, beat your ass. Azael got too drunk again. He was just instigating with everybody and causing problems. Then let me sit right here, bitch. You sit where? Then sit. 
There's a chair. Sit your ass down. What's up, then, bitch? I'm right here, dude. You're gonna. <laughs> Isaiah, he's drunk again. I mean, it's just constant. Like, he just gets belligerent and stupid. Hey, hey, just make hey, it hey, to hey, hey. Okay, Stop then go lay down. Talking. Just go lay down. Stop talking and go to bed. Do you understand me? Go to bed. Vern is definitely the father figure of the house. Vern wasn't playing. Oh, yeah. oh. For what? Homewood Hotel. I'm good right now. You want off the show, or you want to go sleep it off at Homewood? We're building a sport here, and we want these guys to succeed and be safe. So we decided that if anything starts to get out of hand, we're going to take the fighter who's trouble, send them to a different location, let them sleep it off, and then when they're ready, they can rejoin the team. Azael was at it again, causing trouble. So he was quickly pulled out and sent away where he could sober up and come back the next morning. Have a good one, bro. Hey, that's Hey, I'm hey, going to yeah, be back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, bro. Super drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Idiot. He doesn't stop. No, I don't stop. Because I'd be watching and it's like, and, and you're, you're real cool, but then he's like, Mike. He's like, yeah, he's all up on your. Ozzy definitely made himself a fool and he was acting out towards a lot of people. And, you know, you step on the wrong foot and it, sometimes it steps back. Hey, which bed's his? The one left bottom. Oh, uh, left bottom bunk? Left yeah, bottom okay. bunk. Question is, where do we put it? Want to bring it to the basketball court? <laughs> yeah. This is definitely a team effort. <laughs> Can we just throw it in the pool? Nah, too easy. <laughs> we could make him sleep in here, too. Between me and Devin, it's like, you have to <laughs> stay here. Make his bed up all nice for him? Oh, You're making nice. his bed for That's him? That's nice of you. He wants to with everybody, like, all the time, so I figured I'd with him. We got some adult diapers, put a few on the bed. Karma's a bitch. You know you <laughs> up in the house, you know you're going to get it sooner or later. I mean, what comes around goes around, and don't <laughs> treat people like <laughs> you won't get treated like <laughs> <laughs> That worked. Brown, find out. Find out. Frizzell. My opponent, Azael. The whole house is rooting for me on this one. Everybody, everybody here wants to see him go to sleep. A lot of weight on my shoulders, but it, it's not a big problem. Good. You have great rotational power. So if you want to keep with that, that's awesome. So for me, it's bring it down, just down from here, and then wham. I live in Ontario, California, with my girlfriend. You ready? You want to try my my green bean casserole? I work on a food truck. My job is to manage the kitchen and then drive the truck. Day-to-day <laughs> mm. mm. <laughs> -day life pretty much just revolves around work and training and spending time with my girlfriend. Just basic California kid. I grew up always playing football. I was pretty good in school. Senior year, uh, we went undefeated in league, went to the playoffs. It was, it was pretty fun, but, you know, like all good things, it comes to an end. And that's when I got into combat sports after football. I do kickboxing, boxing, jujitsu. I do a little bit of everything. I've been fighting with an underground platform that allows fighters to grow and learn from people who are older and more experienced. And I'd met someone, he basically referred me to the power stop. I was definitely interested in coming into this. I have prior combat experience, but nothing really in terms of slapping. Good. That's tough. <laughs> well, f you guys. <laughs> I come back to the house and I was already expecting people to mess with my stuff. So I go into the room, I could see that my bed was gone. Damn. Hey, so, so what we're gonna need you to do, bro, is we're gonna need you to step out this door. He found the trail now. What's over there, my bed? This is the dopest walk of shame ever. <laughs> you guys are. <laughs> I think it was a little up. I mean, kids are going to be kids. 
if they can't handle someone just defending himself and they want to just act like top dogs or whatever, the sport is going to like humble them. Ah, I'm going to have to go in there. Oh, I love it. <laughs> We invited Anthony Green to move into the house. We wanted to give him another shot after his exhibition fight with Jules Scott, but he ended up getting sick and couldn't compete in the slap-off elimination fights. Anthony's weight is around 150, which is too light for welterweight, but one of the alternates, Robert Trujillo, is in the same situation. So I thought we could test both of these guys, have them compete in a special lightweight fight. They said there should be an available bed. I'm not sure. They said talk with you guys and see it's what's up. It's probably over here, bro. There's one bed available, but it's the one outside. It's the one outside? Yeah. Oh, because you stole this one? Apparently, one of the guys in this house is uh, problematic. From what I've heard, you know, he's been pretty ignorant. If that's the one that is mine in there, I'll take it. So, so the one in there is definitely your bed. You should tell him he needs to go get his bed, because when I went out by his bed earlier, it smelled like piss because he be getting drunk and pissed in the bed, so I mean. Oh, Anthony Green's the homie. Me and him been real tight since the first event. Like, we keep up on Facebook, text, all that. So I'm going to have him out. Hey, bro. No, you're not making me look at that bed that I didn't put outside. Dog, you should probably just go get your bed. That one's my bed, Yeah, bro. that, that yeah, bed I mean, was I on this person's bed. I didn't problems, but that's my bed. Oh, are you laying down, bro? Oh, like, you're not going to come in here and tell me to get off this bed and go get the Everyone bed. else is telling me this is my bed, dude. Go get the one outside. No. Dog. That's your bed, bro, and it smells like piss, dog. No, bro, that's not my bed. That was on Robert's room. That no, that was. Bro, how you gonna tell me it wasn't right here when no, I'm the one that took it out there? That one's a thin one. That one's a thick ass mattress. Bro, that's definitely the one that was right there. Get it, dog. I'm already sleeping right in here. Bro, it's bogus. You'd be pissing on the bed, and you're gonna yeah, tell him he's gotta sleep on that one. He needs to get up off this bed. Bro, it's not like you're gonna touch me, dog. Like, there's nah, no way. Nah, you're right. I'm not, because that's not the person that's I am. That's what I'm saying, but I'm not gonna but get, get that, dog. You can sleep here with me, dog, if you want, but I'm not gonna go get that bed. That's my guy's bed, bro. I don't give a if that's your guy's bed, dude. You put my bed outside, what the No, because you're a little bitch, bro. Okay, then what the are you gonna do? Force me to get off of this I mean, if I have to. Well, do it, dude. So now what? Dude, why the are you guys trying to fight, dog? Like, I'm not trying to fight, bro. I'm yeah, trying to get my guys bed. bed. Just like go to the bed, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro, I'm not. That mattress was not. Uh, there was a tiny ass mattress like this, like <laughs> over here, dog. <laughs> bro, chill out, yeah, dog. Like, what do you mean, chill? I'm smiling, bro. Then why the are you getting in my face, dog? Cause it's my guy's bed. I don't give a if that's your guy's bed, dog. I'm I know sleeping you don't, on it. Cause you're disrespectful, little bro. Dog. That's the wrong guy to be staring at, man. I know you want to. I want to what, dog? Square off on someone, bro. Go for it. You're stupid, dog. I know you want to way home, bro. Yeah, he gonna get his so way take home. it right here. He gonna get his way home <laughs> you guys are done, dog. I'll give him this bed. I'll give him this bed. There you go. Yeah, it's cool. That's cool. I'm just glad to see you. <laughs> There's no way a man was going to get in my face, but there was no way I could do anything about it because we're going to get kicked out. So I was pissed off that I couldn't do anything because I wanted to punch him as hard as I can. Don't do things to disrespect me. It's not professional, and it's going to bite you in the ass. I <laughs> just idiots. for today is just y'all go work out do it you know i ain't gonna push nobody on monday that was nice good slap looks that was good i'm fighting Manuel. you're in my team you're not in my team i'm still excited to knock out people my record comes from fighting in the streets i have no losses no knockouts and i'm here to be a champion in this league. i can feel the fire burning you got a pretty good challenge, bro. I think you have a harder challenge. I'm good, bro. 
I am from San Diego, California, specifically the most southern part of San Diego, which is San Isidro, which borders Tijuana, Mexico. Used to come here and run, do some shadow boxing, play some basketball. We're out here with the fam, my sister, my mom. I've always wanted to be a professional in a combat sport. Paris Lab is the sport that I'm gonna be a champion in. One of the top dogs in the Mexican combat sport is Canelo, and that's one of the guys that I look up to the most. And the other Mexican warriors in the sport, I have that Mexican blood. They can do it, I can do it. There you go. One more. I know a lot of people think that because he knocked his opponent out in the first round, it's going to be a tough opponent for me. But Emmanuel has not been hit in this slap game, and I feel like He's like a young I'm gonna knock him out. Everyone in the house has been talking Let them and then just them all out. 185 is gonna be my bro. I know I could fight and I know I could take a hit. I can knock out Emmanuel. There's no way he's gonna knock me out. I'm gonna knock him out. Emmanuel, I'm gonna knock the f out of you, dog. I get to do the house a favor. I get squirrel for Thaza out. He doesn't hit very hard at all. I've seen it. And I know I hit extremely hard. So uh, I was like, I'm gonna bring you a pillow and a blanket because I'm putting your ass to sleep. Okay, boys, come on in. Okay, go ahead and get set. Right two. Right on two. Yeah. Okay, we've got right on two. This is round number one. Start the striker clock, please. Okay, that's your measure. I will count them off for you, okay? One. Clubbing, foul! That was on the neck. That was on the neck, yeah. You gotta aim that better. One point. Okay. Hand and number. Right on three. Right on three. I will count them for you. There's your measure. One, two, three. Cool. Oh, you ate that. Just let me know when you're recovered. I'm good. I'm good. Recovered! Okay, round two. I'm gonna get shot. Yep. Hustle, your time's going. Okay, get set. Stay set, please. Right two. One. <laughs> Legal. Yeah, Mike K. Legal. Damn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Recovered! You have 30 seconds, okay? You don't have to chalk. Here, come. Yeah. come here. Good job, man. Way to eat it. I got this. Come on. Yes, Round two, slap two. Right on three. Right on three. One, two. Damn, these guys are killing it. Back in the box okay. when, you, when you're recovered. Go ahead and step in. How are you, brother? Recovered! Right hand. What? Right two. Right two! Right two! Round three, slap one. One, two. Legal! Oh. Legal. oh my God. You ready? Yeah. Hey, you got this, man. You got, hey, you got this. this. Hand and number. All uh, right on. Let's do three. Right on three. 
man mandatory measure. One, two, legal, legal. That's it. Go ahead and step back, step back. Yes. 185 are right here. Yeah. What's up? 178, I still got you, dog. You do don't with me, dog. It was a good match. Azeo took all the hits, and he was giving them right back to Emmanuel. Emmanuel had a lot of good power, but that very first round, he clubbed, potentially losing him his fight. Winner by unanimous decision, the blue corner. Yeah. Good job. Good job. He didn't hit very hard. It wasn't any problem like that. I made the first mistake with uh, clubbing. I got to work on my form, my technique, and I got to be able to put everything down legally. Everyone in the house has been talking Today is just proof that I'm a top dog. I'm here to win this. Coming into this fight, Emmanuel was ranked fifth among the middleweights, and Azael was sixth. So I knew this was going to be a close fight. I am pretty sure that every fighter in the house wanted to see Azael lose. But he stood there, took Emmanuel's best shots, even a clubbing foul, and walked away with the victory. A very solid performance. At middleweight, Nikolai Selkoch versus Caris Archer. Yes, sir. So Frank, Nikolai, Lou, Caris Red. It's blue. I go first. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Nikolai won, so he's going to go first. Always wanted to get my chin tested, so this is going to be a good test for me. Nikolai's the right build that if he can get some motion into his swinging, I think he'll do real good, especially now that he won the coin toss. 184. Reese is just going to show up, and he's going to be ready. He's always down to fight, so he's going to show these guys that he is their real deal, and he is the game changer. 184. Nikolai destroyed his opponent with one slap in the elimination fights. He is the number one middleweight when it comes to human force. This dude is no joke. Kreese didn't get a chance to show us what he had after his opponent had to back out of their fight. However, we got him in as an alternate. I know he has a ton of potential, so let's see what this kid can do. Most of my life, I used to work a truck driver. And trust me, this is the, one of the hard job in the world. And uh, I got that toughness on me. Yes, sir. So nice. So nice. I'm confident I can beat this guy. He's an uh, MMA amateur, he got a lot of fights, and uh, it's a great chance to me to prove I'm better than him. I want to make a splash in this sport, man, and I want to make a big name for myself. I want to stand out for my daughter. It's getting to the nitty gritty. I need every dollar right now, so he's in my way. A tough and strong guy. I'm confident I can beat the race, and I, not the race, but many other guys. Can't stop, won't stop. Oh. It's showtime! I heard Nikolai slap the guy to sleep the last time. I don't really take too much to any of the talking. Let's go! I'm ready to see what he's really about. Nikolai, you better be Ooh. ready, dog. I'm here to be the best, and you're standing in my way, so get the down. Gentlemen, to the center. Let's go. Let's go. We chalked Your up, turn now. Through round one, Nikolai will strike first. Y'all set? Yeah. Start the striker clock. Right hand on three. Measure. Measure. One. Two. Mm. Clubbing! 
Foul! Striker! That was a bad clubbing. I <laughs> felt the thud of that over here. There you go. Yeah! Yeah! Stay here. Are you all recovered? Okay. Hey, that means you already got this round. I'm ready. Go. Recover! Right on one! Legal! There you go, Nikolai. Right hand on three! Measure. One. Two. No! Striker! Clubbing! Yeah! There you go. There you go. He did Whoa. it again. He should be the squalifier. One more foul, and he will be the squalifier. One left. Start the striker clock. I like that he just went righty to lefty. No one's done that yet. And, and his left hand was harder. He was trying to figure out his footing, it looked like. Are you ready? Let's go, yeah. Reese. Right, step by. Let's go. Right on three. Start the striker clock. Measure. One. Two. <laughs> Foul! Yes, sir. Striker! Bobby! <laughs> Yeah, you've been taking it. Let's you've been taking it. it. Yes, sir. Three clubs. Three fouls. Disqualification. Match is over. Whoa! Let's go, baby. Straight to the top. Greatness is the only thing I see. We getting closer to the goal to be number one, right? That's what I'm hoping for. I ain't going to sleep, and I ain't going away easy. You better be able to put me away, because if not, I'm definitely coming for you. I'm very simple in myself. I missed the head three times, not once. That's why I need one shot. Landed perfectly. I didn't, so that's why I'm lost. I thought I'm gonna go to the final, you know. I can't make it, but it is what it is. Three fouls on blue corner. Winner by disqualification, Reese. First one in six years, baby. Yes, sir. Let's go. Just beat number three. That's crazy. In Power Slap, if you get three fouls, it's an automatic disqualification. That's what happened to Nikolai. I'm shocked because he knocked his opponent out in the slap offs with one slap. That's why we ranked him number three amongst the middleweights. But just like that, Carice, number eight, pulls off a huge upset. That will definitely shake up the rankings. Ooh, I got a strong chance, baby. So do it. Next match at heavyweight, Ryan Phillips versus Dwayne Crespo. Ryan Blue, Dwayne Red. I love this part. Red. Slap first. Dwayne won the coin toss. He's going to hit me. And I'm going to hit him back even worse, and I think that's going to be the done deal. Ryan Phillips blew everyone out of the water when it comes to power and velocity at our combine. He put on an amazing show against the tough as nails one-eyed wolf in the exhibition fight that could have easily gone either way. This dude is an absolute monster. 249. <laughs> ah! in the same spot. But Dwayne is also no slouch when it comes to overall power. He crushed his last opponent with an impressive knockout. It's He's over. gonna go in there looking to make a statement. It's over. So, this should be fun. 246 and a half. Now you don't belong here, baby. This is my house, baby. This is my house. You ain't gonna do it, boy. You ain't gonna do nothing. You're 0 and 1. I'm 1 and 0, bitch. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Here we go. 
Sleep, sleep, sleep. I'm going to be matched up with uh, Ryan Phillips <laughs> from the heavyweight division. Ryan's never had a fight. He could count on his hands how many times he's got hit. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> night, night. Look at that. Broke the strap. Ah! A lot of people don't know I'm on the spectrum. It's weird being in a house with a bunch of strangers. Chaos with craziness and people clashing and being away from your family. Like, it's, it's kind of weird. Only got a couple days left with the missus. I had played some Uno. Oh, no, there she is. Looking all cute. My girlfriend's name uh, is uh, Tori. We've been together for about like four months now. She's super supportive in what I do. She has a beautiful little girl, Ellie, and I love that little girl. When I start dating, there's a point where you realize that little girl, you're in her life too. And it's either like, I have to be all in in this relationship or out of it. And uh, it's definitely an all in kind of thing. I'm definitely not the office type. I've done office jobs before. I don't like sitting in a computer all day. Most spiders, they have other jobs. This is what I do, this is how I pay bills. I train out of Vicious Elite Kickboxing under Coach Haas. He's actually the ISKA Team USA head coach. I worked hard my whole life to be at the level I'm at and I wanna to prove to myself that I am one of the best in the sport and to make a mark. <laughs> Yeah, they're not taking that. I can barely hold on to the paddle. Ah! <laughs> I can't hold. Good afternoon, Ryan. Good afternoon. Dr. Sorry. D, Dr. Davidson. Dr. Come on in, man. Let's though. take a look at you. Me and Dwayne are going to fight. So I was training, and Bell and I were going at it, slap for slap on the dummy over there. You know, I had to show off a little bit, so I gave it a lot of power, and I pulled my muscle in my right arm. I mean, you obviously can see the differences, right, mm -hmm. between the two. Mm -hmm. You were probably doing some training work mm -hmm. with this right arm. And what did you feel? I felt a pop, sharp pain, and then it was gone. Kind of in this area? Yes. And then you probably saw, like, the deformity or the flattening of the muscle? Correct. As compared to the left side? Correct. OK. Ryan uh, sent some pictures which showed a deformity of his right bicep. It was flattened out. He obviously felt a pretty sharp pain, felt some discomfort, appropriately notified all of us. Have you ever torn a muscle, torn a tendon, anything like that before? No, sir, just Charlie horses, things of the regular. It looks worse than it really is, in my opinion, but I'm all about safety and precaution. I just want to make sure that I'm OK. I don't think anything's going to happen. I'm still fighting, for sure. So I looked at all the MRI images, and I kind of brought the report, and we can kind of go through it. But sure. it's a complete tear mm -hmm. of the bicep tendon. It's a complete tear of the bicep tendon. So, I mean, there's an insertion point here. This, this muscle, the bicep, inserts down here. Mm -hmm. And it tore, and actually this tendon pulled back, or we say retracted, mm -hmm. about three, four centimeters. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have that flattening of that area and probably don't have the same strength in that arm that you had prior to the injury. It's something that we're going to want to refer him for orthopedic evaluation and surgical repair after the event uh, concludes. Um, I understand we've, you know, discussed, you know, can you continue in the competition with your left versus your right upper extremity? And I think we're going to kind of let and see how that plays out. It's a different type of event, slap event. And uh, he's fortunate and he's very good with both arms. We've talked about this at length. So he's going to continue to participate in slap, but using his left arm. Do you know when the surgery will take place or is that something we'll schedule? We'll probably get it done as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. That way we can begin the recovery and the rehab as soon as possible. So it'll be something I'll do at home. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Let's go. Chop my arm off. Put me in the ring, man. I don't give a I'm about to come with the thunder, man. My left is still strong. My left is probably better than my right, to be honest with you, because of my back problems. So I'm just ready to go, man. I'm still going to test that chin. Me and Dwayne are going to go at it. I'm still going to give you a show. Pleasure to meet you. All right, so I'll be watching you closely today. Left-handed fighter today. <laughs> All right. How's it feel? Amazing, bro. 
Okay. I feel like I can do either or. I don't want you warming up with the right at all. If you decide to switch to it, just do it in the match. Don't warm up with okay, it. Okay, I won't. It's official. I have a bicep tear, but I'm still fighting. I got my left. There you go. But as soon as that adrenaline starts flowing, you know, it's all game. I think it might go to decision with your left. It's fine. But I think you'll still win in decision. Yeah, three round four. And he'll pivot too. He's an MMA guy, you know yeah. what I mean? So I feel great, bro. Like I feel I really feel great even with this. It's going down. Dwayne, you know, you're gonna feel the pain. Coming for the championship belt. It's gonna shine around my waist, baby. It's the king. There's only one true king, and that's the king of kings, Ryan Phillips, baby. Woo! I'm gonna do the left hand, and then if I can switch it up. Yeah, I'll know? let you know if I feel like you're down. You don't want to tear it, man. You don't think I should? OK. No, I mean, it's a, I'm not you. I'm just telling you to be careful. You're my mentor, though, bro. I listen to you, man. You tell me. Well, man, just pack Go on home, yo. Oh, you <laughs> Been through some situations, but I've always overcome them. And my mind and body are just like a castle of fortitude, you know? Good, man. It's a good mindset for being here, man. Like, I like your mentality, man. Thanks, bro. Lorain, Ohio, it's a nice town. I'm a sales and operations administrator for a large company. That takes up majority of my day, and then just hang out with the boys. You know, I hit the gym, which is around the corner from my house. Here we are at Strong Style Cleveland, Ohio. We're killing it today. We're gonna get a beast of a workout. My mom and dad split when I was a very young guy. They were the best people that I've ever met in my life. My mom, bless her heart, she was one of the kindest people, always inviting everyone in. My dad, you know, I wish he was here to see what I'm doing now because he was one tough son of a bitch, man. I love him dearly. Both of them are my heroes, man. There's no one else that compares, and I just miss them both terribly, and uh, I just hope they're watching over me and giving me the strength to, to win this thing. You know, I've just had this new lease on life with Power Slap. I'm here for legacy. I want to prove that I'm the baddest man in the world. I missed the MMA route because I'm, yeah. now I'm too old. Yeah. But well, here's your chance, man. Make the best of it, right? You know, you know that's right, brother. I'm coming for it, brother. I'm a stone cold monster. Came up in the cage growing stronger. My confidence level is extremely high. I believe that I still have a 100% chance of winning this. I don't think Dwayne is an elite striker. He has a zero in his win column. Even though it's going to be my left, you know, it's going to be the same result. I'm going to knock this dude out. I'm going to dance on his blood. And we're going to get that W, baby, for Team Wolverine. Beat him. Beat him to me. Where I have the advantages on this fight is my combat background. I put high-level striking into the sport and uh, my knockout power. Oops. Obviously, I've never been slapped yet before, but I've been hit before. I've took in some big shots from some top 100 pro MMA guys. I think that Ryan does not hit as hard as them, so I'm pretty sure that I could take the shot. Yeah, I'm the one. I'm the king. Oh, it's real. It's real heat, man. Once you're my opponent, you're my enemy. I'm the one. He's going to get the first strike in. I'm going to eat it. I have an iron jaw. And I believe once I'm able to get a strike in, I think it's going to be game over. I think I'm going to put him to sleep with one slap. Once everything's said and done, my hand will be raised, and I'll be the one. I don't think Ryan's going to be able to handle my power. I don't, I don't think he takes a slap. You're pretty messed up. You take a shot from me. Ryan Phillips, show up. You get knocked out. Don't back out of this. Gentlemen, to the middle. This is round one. 
Strike one, red one to coin toss. Has elected to strike. Put your hand to your count. Right on three. He will go right on three. You must measure. Measure. your count. Left on three. Round one, slap two, left on three. Measure. One, two. Oh, oh. Foul, clubbing. Watch on taking that. Move no, just a little it. bit, just be careful with it, all right? Okay. Wipe your face, too. Sir, stay calm, man, stay calm. You Good ball. He's, He's the one with the bias stuff. Yeah, I can't use this right. Round two, slap one, hand, right. count. Right on three. Measure. Jump with right. Measure. One, two. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Clean. 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 There you go. You just ate that. Hey, mm -hmm. just make sure to keep it clean, man. I'm trying. Round no, two, I know. It's your left hand, so he's got the advantage. I know. This sucks, bro. You got this, man. I wish I had my right. Just bring it out. Hand to count. Three on left. Left on three. Measure. One. Two. Way to eat it. Good slap. Way to eat it. Hey, bud. Good job, man. You wanted a war, you got it. I was borderline. His eyes swelling up, too. Right where that scratch is. He ate both right, left or right again? Keep right. Keep right? Keep right, for sure. Right. Keep causing damage. Sure. All right. All right. Round three. Slap one. Hand count. Right on three. Right on three. You must measure. That's your measure. One. Two. That dude is tough. Hey man, good job. You're obviously, you already know you're down a point. So I'm not advising you so right because it probably hurts you. So you're either going to have to. That's going to be on the way to win if you knock him out with your right right now. But nah, I wouldn't. I think I'm just going to use the left, man. That's fine. Let's take us along. You got it. Go for it, man. Do what you can, man. Right, Suck, bro. Get it in. Hand count. Three left. Left hand on three. Nice hit, baby. You did a great job, man. Right yeah, hand, great, baby. That's your measure. One. Two. Good slap. In the match. Crespo was throwing a lot of heavy hands at Ryan. Ryan ate them all. For Ryan's slap, he ended up using his left hand because of the bicep injury. So he did his best to be as accurate with his non-dominant hand. Props to him, you know. To be a warrior and still to be able to compete even though your strongest weapon is taken away from you. We have a winner by unanimous decision. Red corner. I'm so happy. Like, that win was amazing, you know? It just puts me up the ladder. Like, I'm in a really good division here. I'm really happy to be here, and it's, it's fantastic. That was incredible, dude. <laughs> Respect. You're a beast, brother. Yeah, you too, good man. You. you too. I'm upset. I lost. Came in with a really bad injury on my right arm, so I couldn't use my power hand. Congratulations to Dwayne on a great win, but I'm going to come back, and I'm going to get it back. Ryan Phillips is the highest ranked heavyweight fighter in the competition. He had a tough break, tore his right bicep in training, but I got to give it to the guy. He still came out and gave it everything he had with his left arm, but Crespo's just too tough and he gets the win. Regardless, I see both of these guys having a bright future in Power Slap. 
on the next episode of Power Slap, Road to the Title. It's the end of the road for a select group of fighters as they say goodbye to their Power Slap dreams. I wasn't coming to get sent home early. I'll be back. Light heavyweight Devin Schwan gets some devastating news. All right, we got a medical report back. Oh, I'll find him with one hand. I want it more than anything in the world. What? Then the fighters are re-ranked. I'm pissed off right now. Game day, baby. And the second round kicks off in a special lightweight matchup. Undefeated MMA prospect Robert Trujillo faces newcomer Anthony Green. Former number one middleweight Wesley Drain gets a shot at redemption against California kid Emmanuel Muniz. Then, dark horse Jesse Nutting tries to continue his quest for glory by taking on new number one ranked middleweight John Davis, who will slap their way to victory one step closer to the first ever Power Slap World title.